And that's what happens at midnight when we're packing for America tomorrow. Welcome to our 2019 Travel to USA vlogs. Yay! 2 a.m. now. Our flight was meant to be at 10.30 tomorrow morning, but it got delayed two hours, so now it's 12.30 in the afternoon, which isn't too bad. It's good for us, gives us an extra two hours. I'll finish up here and we'll see you guys in the morning. Almost 8 a.m. now, so we are just gotten up and we're about to get ready. It's about a 14-hour flight till we get to L.A. So I hopefully get a little bit of sleep and then we'll be in America. We're going to go to Disneyland as soon as we land. So that's exciting. We're actually meeting one of our friends, Dan, at the airport. He's on the same flight as us. And when we get to LA, he's going his own way for a little bit. And then we meet back up for Vegas and New York. So that'll be good. And we also catch up with some other friends in Vegas as well. Both so thirsty. Two for five. That's all right. It's pretty good for the airport, actually. Coke's two for eight. Thank you. Leave me a comment down below. How many of you use the neck pillows on the plane? I've never been one to use one. I just I don't know. I used it once. It was okay, but I hate carrying it around, and I found that I could sleep fine without them. Got some fancy ones too. Ultimate memory pillow. Mm, it's not that soft really. United, which we've never actually I've never flown United before internationally, Shane has. Keep yeah, stopping. We got out there. Where's our plane? None of those are our plane. Yeah, Shane's flown international with United once before. But yeah, I never have. We always fly Qantas and Virgin. So hopefully United's good. Apparently they've got Game of Thrones season six and seven which is awesome because I need to re-watch it before season eight comes out next month so yay yeah this morning's been really good we ended up leaving the house about eight quarter past eight and we got to the airport just after nine quarter past nine and now we're about to board at 11 30 flights at 12 30 so plenty of time this terminal's so empty when you fly Virgin and Qantas it's like always super busy but this one's it's so quiet I was telling the vlog how quiet this terminal is compared to when we usually catch the flights. Well, what, who flies out of here? Oh, well, obviously United because that's what we're doing. It's definitely mm. a lot more quieter than when we usually on Qantas, but we usually mm. fly the A380. Yeah. I shaved my beard, which means by the end of the trip it'll be like long, yeah. hopefully. Because it's a bit too be. for my luck. Yeah. I usually do that at the start of the trip. Mm. Like if you saw the last one, when we, when did we start with South Disneyland? Yeah, I no, Universal and then Disneyland, on one. yeah, and, then and by the end, by which the you'll end, see. It was like a beard, mm -hmm. but we went for three weeks then, we have three weeks, uh, probably a similar time. Either way, my uh, face hair grows long, so it grows fast. Yeah. So probably by like Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, so two days time, mm. it'll be a pretty good length. And then by the weekend, I'm going to be perfect. Mm. Then in a week's time, it'll be almost too long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to board. Look, we found Dan. Do you know what I mean, Mike? No 
have a flight. Unfortunately, Dan couldn't sit with us. Dan's all the way like 10 miles up there. Shame for three seater as well. Okay. Thank you. Fourteen hour flight. Here Fortunate. we come. So we just got some ice cream. Kelly got ice cream and too. For whatever reason. Shane's is fine and look at mine. It's hard as a Melts. bloody rock. Oh, what is I this? I love you, Logan, that one. Hard as a bloody rock. Hard as a bloody rock. Come on, I want my salted caramel swirl ice cream. airport before it's so big like we've been here a million times now but it's so easy to get lost like we were just dropping Dan off at his terminal he's going straight to Vegas but basically it's so big that it takes forever to walk from terminal to terminal or you can get a bus from terminal to terminal and you can get up you can pick up the rent a car buses from here the super shuttles taxis Ubers it's all happening my last Disneyland vlogs this is where we stayed so unfortunately it's too early to check in what is the time it is 11 14 a.m. they do not have a room ready so we're just gonna head over to downtown Disney and get some food and do some shopping and then we'll be able to come back and change and then we'll head over to the park we just got our third compliment of the day on our amazing luggage we're walking to Disneyland now. We're gonna go down to Disney, look at the shop, and see if all the sandwiches are open. So, okay, I heard that they closed it because they're doing construction, but I think it opened back up. So, it looked like it was open when I looked at mine. Yeah. So, they reckon 4 o'clock check in time. It's like 11.30 oh. now, so it's a while to walk around feeling disgusting like this because we've been on a plane for 14 hours. But, all good. The worst place There's in the world to be is looking at Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. I'm gonna come back by the way, I miss the electrical parade. So cool. We're back here, look! There's Disneyland! There's California Adventure! No Halloween stuff this time. Last no. time it was all Halloween-y. We'll go there later. First we're going to downtown Disney. Oh, is the Mickey and Minnie celebration still on? I'm not sure. It's a small world after all. It's a small world, yeah. It's a small world. My seat came whatever you may see. Wreck me now. Wreck me now. I'm gonna go into the world of Disney. I'm gonna have a quick walk through, have a quick scan of the merchandise. See what we might be interested in buying this trip. Oh, I'm so hungry. 
and then we'll go get food. I can see that purple person is. Whoa. They're so sparkly, guys. That's cute. I like the colors on that one. And then, of course, you've got your rose gold. I got the rose gold ears last time. We got all your themed things. We've got Tiki Room themed. We've got Pirates of the Caribbean themed. We have Haunted Mansion themed. And we have Small World theme. That's really cute. We've got the rainbow jersey and millennial pink. What do you think of the donut ears? I heard that these were discontinued last week, but they're still here. Cute. Huge doll whip. <laughs> We're gonna wear them. No. We're gonna wear them this trip. No. <laughs> no, no, no. We were meant to wear these last trip, but Shane's like, I'm not spending forty dollars on a Harrison Ford shirt that says I know. But look how cute. We would be so cute matching. Oh my God, the pretzel's got a face on it. That's so cute. St. Kilda colours. St. Kilda colours. Actually, it is St. Kilda colours. Except for the grey. Not here. Yeah. That's my football team back home, by the way. Look, you never see merchandise with like 21 Dalmatians or Oliver and Company, Figaro, Fox and the Hound, which is my favourite. I found the bag I want that I heard sold out. It's the Disney Castle bag by Danielle Nicole at Disney World apparently they have Cinderella Castle version and then they've got the Cinderella Castle ears oh, can I buy everything please? Look why are Bolt's eyes orange? because this Bolt that's weird Demon Bolt yeah that looks strange the one we have at home is like what, what's his eyes normally like green or something? I don't know, but he's not, he doesn't have yellow eyes. The one I've got sits down like that. Yeah. This one's different. standing up. <laughs> you yeah. like how he just did that? Yeah. Yeah. Look, they've got Mufasa. Mufasa's my favorite character in The Lion King. I love Mufasa. So many new ears from the last time I'm here. The jasmine ones, the purple ones, those green ones, polka dot ones. I found the Alex and Arnie's, and look at this. There's a lady in the tramp one. There's a donut and a pizza bag with Mickey shapes. The doll whip bag. Oh, I just, I need everything. Look at the Mary Poppins one. Tiki room. Pokemon. All the dumbest stuff. How about this? There's a tie with the monorail on it. Like, are you serious? Amazing. Look at this, the Lego shop. Got Maleficent as the dragon, Prince Philip. That's awesome. And you got Woody and Buzz and RC. Oh, I remember they had Beast and Belle, and Beast looks normal, and Belle looks like this little Lego chick. Got Beast as like normal, looking normal, and look at Belle. She looks all lego -y. Can you see? Is it the Earl? It's the Earl. He's still there. It's really here. Yay! Best hot sandwich in the world. 
I'm gonna buy all of them. Hmm. I'm gonna get Hawaiian barbecue. I think this is how you get into the Disneyland Hotel, which I'd like to try and get to at this point. We've never seen any of the Disney ho Disneyland hotels before. We've got our ale. Shane's already well into his. What have you got there? The this one's Hawaiian barbecue. Hawaiian barbecue, and you've also got what's the other one you got? Italian. Italian. I've gone for a chipotle chicken avocado. So, it's great yum. It is, it is amazing. Here's mine. So we finished our Earl of Sandwich. Did you enjoy Earl of Sandwich? Oh, so good. It's good, huh? Be back there in 20 minutes. <laughs> Feels like that. Anyway, we're gonna head into California Adventure. Still got like a couple of hours so we can check in and have a shower and everything. We both feel disgusting sitting on a plane for 14 hours. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here for a couple of hours and then we'll go back to the hotel. Yes! Got our tickets! And picked up the California Food and Wine Festival is on, which is awesome because we love the Epcot one, so interesting to try the one here. We've got a food guide. Starbucks, got my strawberry acai refresher. Shane's got a mocha, which had a whole bunch of whipped cream at the top. Got to say no whip. Yeah, back home, like, we just don't put whipped cream on the top, but here, they do. They so, love whipped cream and cheese. Yeah, it's on everything. It's test time. Test time. So we're about to go into Ghirardelli, which, as I said last time we were here, they always give you a free chocolate when you go in. But I heard a couple months ago that they no longer give free chocolates, which is very sad. So here's the test. We're about to walk in. Let's see if we get a free chocolate or not. Negative. There's no one offering us free chocolates. Which means and they've not configured the whole store actually, it all looks different. Which means we're not buying your overpriced drinks for the soft gear. So sad, we love your free chocolates. Oh. That's the only good value you could get out of Ghirardelli. It's the free drink, the free chocolate you get when you go in. Mm. Drinks cost about an arm and a leg. They do, we and usually get one at one point. But yeah. Every time I go out, it's, it's gone up another dollar. It's about 12 bucks for a drink. Yeah, it's quite a lot. That's US dollar too, so it's like yeah, it's almost like, 20 bucks for us for a drink. That's like not even joking. It's about 12 dollars, depending what you want. Well, here's our lucky fortune cookie. We'll go back there and yeah, we'll get our, our new fortune. We're back at Pixar Pier. Literally feels like we were just here. I know. And at least this time, World of Colour, the nighttime spectacular show that they do over there is back open. It wasn't open last time we were here, so looking forward to watching that. It's so extremely busy today, and it's only a Wednesday. It must just always be busy here. But if this is a Wednesday, I don't even want to imagine what Friday and Saturday are going to be like. I haven't cut my hair since October. Since the last time we were here. My hair's so long. We're about to go on the wheel. We're going on the stationary one because I don't think I can handle that one that goes like that. I'll get sick. We've got characters on the side of each of the... Let's see who's going to be next. There's Hector. From Coco, got Maida, got Wally, Wally. Just chilling. Now I've got a third duck joining in. <laughs> Someone dropped a lip gloss in a whirlpool. So we're waiting in line for this journey. What's it called? The fun wheel? I should know. We're playing a game called We Used to Have a Name Game. We used to do it with wrestlers, now we're doing it with Disney characters. Basically, we say a character like Nemo, and then the next person has to think of one. 
is the left letter. So it'll be an R. And you wouldn't believe it, there's no Disney characters to start with him. That I couldn't think of at this second. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and Nelly. And it's not Nemo because you can't say the same one twice. Um, I can't even think of one right now. And you're on the spot, that's what gets you. So it's the end, guys. And you're meant to have a count out, so like if you get to a certain time where it gets ridiculous, you can count your opponent out by counting to 10, like a count out in a wrestling match. But um, we tend to like just give each other clues until it gets to the point of ridiculous. I can't even think of one, and I know all the Disney characters. I gave myself a clue. I said, name a Disney movie, and I said Lion King, and I thought Nala. So, so you got one? Yeah. Oh my, hey, Aladdin. Have you, done, have, have you done Aladdin? No. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I got Annie again. Okay. <laughs> name a Disney movie. Lion King. No other ends. I've got one for Ed, but Shane hasn't seen that movie. It's a movie called Zootopia. But I don't think Shane hasn't seen it. It was on the plane too. I didn't... Yeah. I just gotta look around. Shane can't think of one for you, so I'll give him a clue. I'm not very good at this game. I'm much better at the wrestling game game. Uh, she's a sea witch. Sea witch? Oh, Ursula. Hey. There's a character called Edward in Nightmare for Christmas. I could be way wrong on that. There's an Edward in another movie that we've said before. Do you want to confuse that? No, I've got, to get, I've got to get the actual character right. I think I was thinking of, oh, I was thinking of Jack, but it's not. Um, Ed from The Hyenas and Lion King. I'll take that one. Me. Duchess, or a barista character. Is it? Duchess. What's the last one? Yes. Yes. That should be the movie. Simba. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Um, hey, hey, hey. Anna. Frozen. Hey. Getting really hot now. We've got the ocean. Hey, hey, hey. I'll give you a quick room tour. Man, you've got a full length mirror. That's good. Cupboard. There's the light. Last time we stayed at the Anah Anaheim Hotel, I showed you we had some random bathroom scales in our room. There's none here. So maybe someone bought them and just left them. Got two beds. All these drawers are nicer than in our room from last time. The yeah, ones yeah. last time were like really old. Oh, like, these are still old, room. but they're nicer. Yeah, so TV's good size. Alright, so... Desk. Oh, we've got our own little private balcony, that's nice. Finally sitting down. I don't want to sit here for too long because I'll probably end up going to sleep, which won't be good. In the past, we've done that because we always arrive, arrive in America like early in the morning, and once we're always tired, so we've slept before, and then it's like ruined our whole trip because we've like woken up late, and yeah. So we have to try and stay awake for the whole day. So Shane's showering now, and then I'll shower and change, and finally put some makeup on. Ugh, look awful. And then we'll head back to the parks. But yeah, the flight wasn't too bad it actually went really really quick it ended up being 13 and a half hours which has never really been that quick before it's usually between 14 and 15 from melbourne to la so that wasn't too bad i literally 
binge watched Game of Thrones season six. So by the time I post this, it'll be over and we'll all know who's sitting on the Iron Throne, which is crazy. The Night King, I reckon the Night King and or Bran, something with them will accumulate. So many theories, but I won't talk about that in this video. So anyway, our flight was good. It actually went really quick because I was literally just watching that the whole time. But it was probably the most uncomfortable flight I've ever had, just like comfort wise. The seats just didn't go back far at all. So even when it, they went back, I felt like I was still sitting upright and I just couldn't sleep. I got maybe, I slept the first two and a half hours or so and then it just wasn't comfortable and I felt like it was pretty crammed. It was a three seater, so I was in the middle of Shane and this woman and I don't know, it just felt cramped and uncomfortable. So, and the food was very, very average. <laughs> very average. I couldn't even finish the breakfast meal. This, ugh, it wasn't very good. But everyone seemed really nice and United was cheap and, but yeah, it was all right. So, won't complain anymore. And then when we got out and went to customs, it was the quickest we'd ever been through customs ever in LA. Probably because United was a small flight, but it was just so quick. We're out of there in no time, and our bags came straight away, and yeah, got on the shuttle within 20 minutes, and that was easy. It just dropped off two other people before it dropped us off, so that was good. Anyway, and then yeah, we just came here, couldn't check in, walked around downtown Disney and California Adventure, and now we're here. So, might try and book some fast passes for tonight, maybe at Disneyland, and we'll go from there. 